In the heart of 1949, as Japan toiled under the weight of American occupation, a chilling mystery took hold of the nation. It was a tale that began with the horrifying death of the president of the Japanese National Railways, a man found crushed beneath the unforgiving wheels of a train. Questions swirled in the aftermath of this shocking incident. Was it a tragic accident, a desperate act of self-destruction, or a cold-blooded execution? The answers, it would seem, are as elusive as shadows on a moonless night. As the nation grieved, the plot took a sinister turn. The death of the president was soon overshadowed by a string of unsettling railway crimes. The crescendo of this wave of terror arrived with the infamous Matsukawa sabotage. An act so heinous, it snuffed out three innocent lives and sent ripples of fear and uncertainty through the heart of the country. The aftermath of the Matsukawa sabotage saw the wheels of justice begin to turn, grinding slowly but inexorably towards a resolution. As the dust settled, 20 individuals found themselves in the unflinching grip of the law. These were not hardened criminals or career lawbreakers. They were workers, many of whom were tied to the Communist Party and the labor unions, people who lived their lives under the banner of solidarity and equality, and so began a legal saga that would stretch across the decades. This was no ordinary trial. It was an epic struggle, a battle of wills that laid bare the complexities of post-war Japan. The accused, it seemed, were not merely on trial for their supposed crimes, but for their beliefs, their affiliations, and their place in a rapidly changing society. Yet, as the years rolled by, the tide began to turn. The accused, once seen as saboteurs and murderers, became symbols of resistance, figures around whom questions of justice and truth began to coalesce. The legal battle raged on, not concluding until the dawn of the 70s when a dramatic reversal took place. The accused were acquitted, their names cleared, and they were even compensated by the very government that had sought to punish them. What does this tell us about the mysterious events of 1949? Was the death of the president an act of sabotage or a tragic accident? Were the 20 workers guilty of the Matsukawa incident or were they pawns in a larger game of political chess? The truth, it seems, remains as elusive as ever. Yet, the echoes of this chilling mystery continue to resonate, a reminder of a time when Japan stood on the precipice of change, caught between the shadows of its past and the promise of its future. Don't forget to like and subscribe.